So right here you are rebooting the airplane? Yes, after a battery switch. And I will just push a small button in here. Yeah. So, so what are these lights? The Linux machine on. What is the lights doing? Just showing some that it's, it's on. Just indicating that we have power to the to the snowball, the, the onboard uh, Linux machine running Ubuntu. And uh, as you can see, the other red light is indicating that we have power for the modem. So it's booting. It is booting right it's now. It's not flying yet. We will check in the other end. Uh, well, if we can do our, you know, having contact. This is what the cockpit. That is the cockpit, correct. So as soon as we get contact, you will uh, get the fuel indicator running again, and you will see that we, uh, we have the fuel. What kind of? Uh, so? That now it means it's contact. Yeah, now it's you have a contact. contact. So. Or, uh, how the use case works together is that now we have two modems yeah. uh, connected to a wideband CDMA, HSPA Plus network. Yeah. And uh, you can operate the blimp from uh, this Xbox controller. Yeah. So if you look at the blimp, you will see that we can, uh, we, we can uh, change some uh, control surfaces by uh, moving the sticks. You can actually. <laughs> and then we can turn on the engine slightly, and, and you can see that now it's not rotating, and then you can, uh, and you can turn to... Let me go, let me go, 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 go. That's acrobatics. So, what's going on? LTE? What's going on? It's HSPA Plus. HSPA yeah. Plus? So, the, we have two demo setups here for the M7400 modem, and one is running LTE, and the other one is running HSPA Plus. So, this is the mobile end to end device showing that our modem is possible to connect to any operating system. There's a camera. There is a camera. However, so, yeah. it's streaming back video live? It's streaming back video live, actually, yes. It does. That's actually quite awesome. And uh, so, are you. Do you have some what? Do you have uh, what's it called? Uh, do you have it flying around somewhere? Uh, you mean? Uh, yeah. Well, the freedom here is, is that we can only fly it in kind of one direction here. Uh, but do you like me to fly it around a bit? No, I mean like, uh, uh, have you been using it outdoors and flying? Uh, no, 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 it's for an indoor test. Yeah, it's an test. indoor. Uh, it's an indoor test, basically. Yeah. All right. There we see the camera. It's doing a looping. So how much bandwidth does it need? It really depends on the, the quality of the, the picture. So how uh, how big of a quality that? Yeah. Then it's the size, the bandwidth. So right now it's about uh, 1.5. Megabit, so it's not a, it's not a huge All right. bandwidth. So you could, uh, uh, with a toy maker, you could mass manufacture this technology. Was not it that's not a point. Be, no, exactly. It would be it would be possible, but but uh, and I mean the nice thing is that since you're connected to uh, to a wireless CDMA network or LT network yeah. for that sake, you can actually be on one part of the world and you can run the device on a completely different location right. if you want. This might be too heavy because of the snowball to actually no. fly. Not at all. I mean, it can fly. The snowball. I, I mean, theoretically, yes, but uh, I, I'm not sure yeah. that it's easy to fly if you would like right. to fly it in in, uh, in, in the wind in and all that. Way. No, exactly. Uh, so, are you showing LTE as well here? Some new. So, in exactly the same reference design, we are showing the M7400 running live here. So, this is our reference design put in a small. Uh, it's a PCI Express reference design. Yeah. Uh, which we have put in a small cradle just to uh, make it uh, powered. And uh, we also have an uh, LTE infrastructure behind the walls uh, on Enode B. So we are here right now running live over band 7. 
and to stimulate it with some data, we are actually running four simultaneous 720p video streams. Nice. And as you can see, the average of the data rate uh, varies between, uh, um, I mean, average 12, I would say, something like that, and it peaks up to 20, depending on the complexity. Nice. How many of these modems are on the market? The, this generation is, is being verified uh, with our customers today, yeah. and we are expecting the first products to be launched uh, later this year yeah. and, and beginning of 2004. And the previous generation, there are millions out there? Or? Absolutely, I mean the previous generation, that's the 57XX, and we have examples yeah. of those like products here. Like Kik, T-Mobile. LTE? No, it's just yeah. 21 megabit. All right. So, m tens of millions. Of your, this is a this is what can happen with this. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's a massive, absolutely. I mean, uh, we have good reasons to believe that this is one of the most or smallest, I would say, uh, uh, LTE multi-mode devices capable of up to 100 megabits per second. And it's also extremely flexible from from a band support perspective. I mean, as you might know, LTE is tricky uh, due to the case that uh, um, the frequency bands are fragmented all over the world. However, this uh, design is capable of running up to eight bands uh, simultaneously. Eight bands simultaneously. Yes. And here you see the form factor of how the how a full footprint of the modem would look like, including the RF subsystem. Nice. So basically, you can fly it countrywide. You can fly it even across the country because yeah. it's HSPA. If you have if you have a mobile a mobile network, then you can you can fly it operated. So, so you can fly it on the other side of the world, or yeah, yeah it's fully possible. Okay. So that's the future. Thanks a lot. Thank you.